Time now for First Alert Weather with meteorologist Kyle Kleckner. Well, welcome back and thanks again. You've made it to Friday. Temperatures not too bad to start off our morning. Not nearly as warm as yesterday morning, but still pretty mild. Temperatures in the 20s and 30s once again. Clear skies as well. Quick warming up into the 50s by the noon hour. You should see temperatures in the 50s and 60s for us later on this afternoon. Lots of sunshine as well, so just got those winds to deal with today. Here's a live look at Hastings right now. Our viewer wireless camera there. The moon shining bright yet again. Otherwise, here in the Tri Cities, a temperature about 33 for all of us. Again, those west northwesterly winds, a little breezy out there, say 5 to 10 miles an hour, maybe 5 to 15 as well. But uh, otherwise, clear skies at the moment. Those temperatures, not too bad. Once again, you know, the temperatures mainly in the 30s. Still 26 there at North Plant. Otherwise, it is 32 at York and also at Imperial. Warmer yet, say 36 right now. O'Neill, Albion also at Lincoln. So again, temperatures not too bad. Start from morning, you'll probably want to jack with these breezy winds out there. And again, those wind chills only in the 20s. So even though it looks like it's, you know, in the mid 30s for a lot of us, again, those wind chills look colder than what those actual air temperatures are. It feels like 18, in fact, at North Platte. So you'll want a jacket this morning. The good news is you can probably lose that jacket later on. Those temperatures climb into the 50s and 60s. A little cooler than compared to yesterday morning. You may actually may remember had a pretty mild morning yesterday. Had morning lows in the 40s here in the Tri-Cities. So again, not nearly as warm as yesterday, but still not all that bad. And there are those winds right now. Again, they're about 5 to 15 miles an hour out of the north and west. Again, those winds will remain out of the north and west, but unfortunately, those winds are actually going to pick up even more so this afternoon, even probably a little stronger than what we saw yesterday. Talking winds 20 to 30 miles an hour later on. Otherwise, satellite and radar, not a whole lot happening at this time. Maybe some clouds off to our north, the panhandle as well, but really a quiet morning other than those breezy conditions we got out there right now. We're going to see more wind as the day wears on. Again, those winds expect to pick up later on this afternoon. Again, just a quiet couple of days here. Just a little breezy is really all we're going to be dealing with. Lots of sunshine with high pressure in place and upper level ridge keeping those temperatures nice and warm for us as well. We've seen a mild stretch, unfortunately, towards the middle of next week. Going to see a quick change roll into the picture. So enjoy the next couple of days while you can. The good news is maybe after towards the tail end of next week, looking quite warm yet again. 60 for a high this afternoon. Sunny, breezy, another nice day to spend a little time outside if you can. 29 for a low tonight. Clear skies, a little chilly, but still mild for us. 64, a little warmer for tomorrow. Those winds, unfortunately, still going to be at it tomorrow afternoon. Temperatures, they look fantastic yet again. 50s, low 60s across the area. Temperatures back down in the 20s and low 30s for tonight. Still pretty mild night, but still temperatures look a little warmer for tomorrow. Most of us should see highs in the 60s around the area and temperatures the next week here. Staying warm through the rest of the weekend and as we begin next week, about 73 for a high on Monday. It's going to feel fantastic. A little breezy the next couple of days, so maybe you do have to worry about some critical fire conditions with those winds. Of course, the dry weather out there too. Do see a cold front work its way into the area on Tuesday as those temperatures are likely falling into the afternoon. Maybe a chance of snow for us again. Tuesday night, early Wednesday morning. Those temperatures on Wednesday are going to be really tricky. Some of the models indicating maybe some warmer temperatures, but uh, definitely warmer by Thursday. All right. Ugh. That's cold, Kyle. It is. Yeah. <laughs>